Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Chris Miraboli. He's the founder and CEO of Novos Labs. He's been on before, but today we're going to be talking more about his company, how they're doing testing to ensure that their product is going to give you what you're looking for. Now, Novos Labs is all about slowing down the signs of aging, and Chris has a fabulous story that we talked all about in our previous podcast as how he had reversed his biological age. Now, today we're gonna be talking about their newest product coming out that's helping to reverse the signs of aging in organs, and it's a gummy. Totally appealing to all of us kids on the inside. So this is a great one. We geek out, we talk all things supplements and R&D, so research and development. And so I had a great time. I hope you guys will too. Let's reintroduce you to Chris Miraboli. Hey, Health Junkies, I have Chris Miraboli back on, and boy, am I excited about this one because it's been a year since I had him on. His company's grown. He's got some more testimonials and some really cool stuff we're going to talk about, and I've had some patients using his Novos Labs products as well, so we, we've got some testimonials, we got stories, and we've got all kinds of fun today. So Chris, welcome back to the Health Fix Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Well, gosh, you know, right out the gates when we were we were just chatting before we hit record, you said you've got some folks on the Rejuvenation Olympics board. So, so for those folks who are like, "What in the heck is that?" This is folks. These are these are biohackers. These are folks trying to slow down the process of aging, working on their overall health. And 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 you were saying you've got number two, number five, number seven, and eight, and probably a whole bunch more. And so these are subscribers of yours. So these folks are taking which products, what are they up to? Give us a scoop. Yeah. Well, so you're correct that the people on the Rejuvenation Olympics leaderboard uh, tend to be biohackers. But the interesting thing is our customers who are on it are actually not biohackers. Really? These are just regular. Oh, yeah. In fact, they've been they've been interviewed by the press. So, for example, Julie Gibson Clark was covered in Business Insider and uh, uh, Fortune magazine. Um, Amy Hardison is a grandmother of, I think, eight or 10 uh, grandchildren and uh, 60s. And she never even heard of biohacking before. And she was never even into taking supplements. Um, her grandson convinced her to try Novos. Um, so she did. And now she's ranking on the sport. So these are ordinary people just taking her product, living relatively healthy lives, eating, you know, a relatively healthy diets, being physically active and so on, but then taking our products and then their scores are imp improving that much more. And they're, uh, they're being ranked on, on this leaderboard. So as you mentioned, globally speaking, there are thousands of people who have submitted and there are these biohackers uh, trying everything under the sun. Um, and we've got customers ranked number two number five, number seven, number eight. I mean, we have more people on this board than any other company. And practically all of the other companies are actually medical clinics. So these are longevity clinics that you spend thousands of dollars and you have all of these different therapies that you follow and maybe even prescription drugs and so on. Um, our customers are spending far, far less money, typically around $79 a month. And they're doing it from home and living their lifestyles as they ordinarily would. That is an incredible, well, two things, incredible statement altogether is that they're not all biohackers. So, so folks, this is achievable for everybody, but also attainable. Because like you said, these these fancy clinics, and, and this is one of the things I've run up against with, with a lot of my patients is like, you know, yeah, these things are kind of cool. I've seen some really good results from the ozone treatments and the EBU, you know, and the H, you know, but not all the things, right? But unless you've got, you know, a substantial amount of money that you can throw at this, it's not achievable for most people. So I'm guessing that's probably one of the things we didn't talk about before that was kind of behind your company and, and thinking in your head, like, how can I make health and longevity, you know, attainable for folks? Yeah, 100%. Uh, and, and not only the money, the time as well, yeah. right? The amount of time it takes, like you're not going to get a hyperbaric oxygen chamber <laughs> in your bedroom, most of us at least. So yeah. you're going to have to drive somewhere and wait online and do it and then drive back home. Like that takes an hour out of your day. Not everyone has that hour. Um, and so, yes, to your point, when I first had the vision for Novos, 
Uh, part of the reason it, I, I had it in the first place was I was attending biotech events with the leading scientists in the field, trying to understand the field and, and learn as much as I could. And, that, and admittedly, at the beginning, most of it was over my head. It took a while to start understanding the lingo and the terms and the science and so on. But as I was understanding this, it, it became immediately apparent that everything that they were focused on, for the most part, practically everything, was highly experimental and things that we're looking at years to decades from actually making their way to the market. And whatever those things are, they're going to be highly invasive, whether it be like DNA modification or cellular reprogramming um, or pharmaceutical drugs. They're going to require doctor oversight and they're going to be prohibitively expensive. And so my question was, what can we do today for myself, my family, my loved ones and the community at large to be able to have a positive impact on the aging process. And obviously the first thing, uh, one of the first things that comes to mind is just natural substances, natural molecules, things that are approved for over-the-counter consumption. The question was, what are those ingredients that can actually have an impact? And is that impact great enough? So that was the next step in my journey to validate um, the, the uh, thesis behind Novos. But what has also become apparent in the process is that there's also a lot of things in between these futuristic, expensive longevity therapies. And then the today, what's available today that are still expensive longevity therapies, and that still is inaccessible for the majority of Americans. Uh, and so how can we make this something that whether you are rich or not, you can still integrate it into your life. And that's why we're a public benefit corporation doing more than just the formulas. Uh, we, we offer a lot of free information and tools, which we can also talk about. We have some new tools that are coming out for free um, to be able to help people improve their longevity. Ooh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that because, you know, that is the one thing that I will hear from the longevity type of clinics. They'll say, you know, well, we've got docs that can coach folks. We've got this, we've got that. And and while I'm like, okay, you know, the mindset's huge, you know, all these things, I, I think it is important to have something where you don't have to make the time to find an appointment, make the time to go in. So give us give us the scoop of what you guys are offering, What what's going on. Yes. So this is the first time I'm actually talking about this, but we are in the process of rolling out a mobile app completely free. All of the features on it are completely free as well. And the uh, initial feature, there's many features we're going to roll out over the months and years ahead. But the initial feature that we launch with is a longevity lifestyle assessment. So you fill out a survey, it takes less than 10 minutes. And then uh, when you complete that, you have a score out of 100 which can fluctuate based on how you change your responses to that survey over time. But then most importantly, it's going to give you recommendations for the highest priority, the mid-level priority, and then the things that you're doing quite well, it will also highlight that as well. So high priority things, it's going to, it's going to make you aware of, and these are things that are not always obvious. Some of them are obvious, like you're not eating enough vegetables or you're not physically active enough, but other things are less obvious, like uh, your dental hygiene and the effect that that can have on your brain health and your heart health. Like you increase your risk of Alzheimer's and heart disease if you don't brush twice a day and floss. Um, and so a lot of people aren't aware of this type of information. So there's a lot of nuggets like that in there that you might not be fully aware of. For me, I had, I had as you would imagine, being in the longevity space, I have a pretty good score, but uh, there are certain things that uh, I kind of knew in the back of my mind, but I never really confronted. Like, for example, I sit too much because I'm working all day long. I'm sitting too much. And this was nagging at me and seeing the score like this is holding me back that eventually I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to stand more. So the island in my kitchen, I can stand there. I don't have to buy a, you know, a standing desk. I can just stand there. And so for 50 percent of my day now, I'm working standing up and the other half, like an interview like this, I'm sitting down. Uh, and so it actually has made a difference uh, in my life and, and for many of our beta testers and early users as well. So it's called Novos Life, and it's available on both iOS and Android. It's the it's in the beta form right now, uh, so you can download it right now, uh, but we're not officially releasing it for probably another one to two months after we've built in a couple of new features, which I can't talk about just yet. But at that point, that's when we'll, we'll um, you know, do a press release and get more of the information out. 
Okay. Awesome. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. I, I got to test that out. I mean, just what you give in terms of the evaluation of things that might not be as like light bulbs for us, you mm -hmm. know, the whole, the standing sitting thing. Oh man, I, I hear you on that. That is, I'm standing currently because I just realized I have to stand more and <laughs> just in general <laughs> and move more too. You know, I, I realize you know, going from a busy in practice practice where I was seeing people for acupuncture moving all day long, barely sat down to sitting down so much more. I mean, it does make a huge difference. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I'm sure that the folks who are watching this, but also, you know, your, your clients are seeing these changes in themselves with be becoming more sedentary as they get older. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I've noticed as somebody who's very physically active is something that I haven't really heard people highlight before. And, uh, you know, this isn't N equals one, but, uh, yeah. you know, I, I use my legs a lot, bicycling, running, weightlifting, and they're oftentimes kind of sore from, from all, all of the activity. I find that when I stand more for work, the soreness is gone. The next day, my legs do not feel sore, which is kind of counterintuitive. You would think standing more would then lead to them, but probably something with like blood flow and lymphatic drainage and being able to repair those muscles by, by standing rather than sitting and, and, you know, putting pressure on the blood vessels and so on. That's my hypothesis. Maybe that is part of the repair process, but nonetheless, yes, my legs don't feel as sore after these intense workouts. It makes sense in terms of the that you're not cutting off the pumping areas through like the knees and the hips, right? You know, it's like a one yeah. straight shot up. So makes sense to me. It makes sense to me. So let's let's go into you've got your your Novos core product that has been out for a while now. And so you've got some reviews there. And then you've got the Novos Vital that is that is kind of coming out. Um, let's let's talk about core for a little bit and the reviews you've had, kind of what you've seen in terms of the benefits. And of course, let's recap for folks um, about how it's going after the 12 causes of aging too. So I'll let you take it from here. Sure. So Novos Core is the first formula, the only formula to directly address the 12 biological root causes of aging or the 12 mechanisms of aging. We filed for a patent on this approach um, it was very novel uh, when, when we conceived of the idea. It uses all natural ingredients. There's 12 of them. There's uh, It would require about 15 pills. So we instead put it into these uh, little sachets that you can tear open and, and pour it into water or yogurt or smoothie and so on. Um, uh, we've done a, a lot of research on, on the formula, uh, some of which is still underway. But uh, some of the studies that we've done and the results that we've seen are really uh incredible. So for example, um, in in vitro studies of, of human cells, we've seen uh, from irradiation, we could reduce oxidative damage by as much as 77%, which is off the charts for the, the lab that ran the study. They had done $7 million worth of equivalent studies with natural and pharmaceutical drugs prior to our formula. And they never saw a significant result until ours. Um, is another uh, scientific study done at the University of Bologna is looking at the effects of chemotherapeutics on DNA and keratinocytes. These are skin cells. And it finds uh, it, it is finding that we can prevent a significant number of single and double strand breaks to the DNA, which is you know, like mutilating essentially the DNA. And that happens from chemotherapeutics. So it's just showing that these toxic insults can be protected via our, our formulation. Cellular senescence, these are the zombie cells that accumulate as we age. Um, we were able to show that we could reduce their footprint by approximately 50% at the same order of magnitude as the prescription longevity drug rapamycin. Uh, another study done at the Salk Institute, a prestigious lab in California, we were able to uh, demonstrate that we can reduce a, proce a process called oxytosis ferroptosis, which is related to Alzheimer's progression. And there's actually a prescription drug that's in the R&D phase right now that we were compared to. And our formula performed 50% between the single strongest ingredient in our formula for oxytosis, ferroptosis, and that drug. So in other words, more than 50% as effectively as that prescription R&D drug, simply from our natural ingredients from this in vitro study. Uh, we have uh, other studies underway that are in vivo, um, in mice, in humans. So all I can say is that the the results so far look very promising, but I don't want to jinx things and also get ahead of things. So uh, I won't say anything else, but um, some really exciting progress on, on those studies as well. Wow. That's neat. I mean, I, I, 
that's a lot, lot of research and, and positive. We, we do more research on our formula than I believe any over the counter supplement, uh, that's a, a, definitely more than any longevity supplements. We're really proving this out because we truly believe in it. We want to make sure that, you know, what we're, I'm taking it myself. I've been taking it for four years now. Like what I'm putting into my body is actually helping me. So, uh, for my own sake, for everyone else's sake, we really want to, uh, truly believe in this. And each study is just building more and more evidence that what we're doing is really unique and special. That's neat. That's neat. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me because we're getting more savvy about research and funding on research and things of that nature. Are you guys self-funding? Are they all independent studies completely? Um, give us a scoop on that so folks can kind of be a little more aware of, of how these studies come about for you guys and, and how it works. Yeah, we... we um... We typically make a, depending on whether we're working with a CRO, like a contract research organization or um, an academic lab, it, it differs. But like for academic labs, for example, we typically make a donation to the school itself. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, part of those resources are then used to fund a study. So, um, so there is some degree of separation. And ultimately, uh, we have no say in those studies, right? Like we we give them um, the funds, uh, uh, to be able to afford to run that study. Uh, part of those funds end up being used for other studies of theirs as well, not simply ours. Um, and we provide them with the ingredients uh, to be able to run the study, but then everything else is kind of, it's done on, on their end. And then um, we we uh, can both see the results, the data um, uh, before we end up publishing it. But that's really the only other time that we are, um, you know, involved, so to speak, is just evaluating the data to make sure that we agree with the interpretation of, of that data set. But ultimately, they have the final say on what that study is going to say um, and what ends up getting published. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thanks for being transparent on that. I think right now it's, it is a, a hot topic when we're looking at research and data on specific, you know, products. I think consumers are getting more savvy in, in this department and wanting to know, okay, you know, is this pharmaceutically backed? Is this, you know, independently backed? And, and, you know, of course, as far as I can tell, and of course you can clarify me on this one, you are the owner, you know, founder, you have, you know, of course, some, some help out there, but you are not backed by a pharmacy. In, in, in pharmaceutical company pharmaceutical no 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 we we are um we're venture capital funded and friends and family funded um we've only done one one round of seed financing um um that we've we've stretched a very long way um and we've grown very very uh well fortunately um but yeah there's there's no uh pharmaceutical um involvement in in our company whatsoever um and uh the the other thing i would say uh, you know just about you know, because I have the same questions about um, studies that are being run and so on. I'd say the vast majority of of scientists are just intellectually honest and good people um, putting out like facts and not meddling with the results whatsoever. You're always going to find exception, exceptions out there as you will with any field. But the vast majority of the people are, you know, are honest, hardworking people. Now, that doesn't mean that the company um, you know, maybe maybe a pharma company ran 12 studies and they only published one of them uh, that had the favorable result. Like, I can't speak to that type of stuff. Sure. But the, the scientists themselves and the data that they report most often, um, not in all cases, but most often is very honest and, and uh, thorough. Absolutely. I mean, we're geeks to the core of scientists, right? And and we want to know like what works, what doesn't. We want to know the intricacies. And so it's it's one of those things that, yes, with this day and age, it kind of given a bad rap to to scientists as well. And you know, that is something to to always think about. Good, great point, great point. Hey, health junkies, if you're wanting to turn back the clock on your biological age, maybe boost your energy and just counter the signs of aging, I highly recommend Novos Labs products. I'm using them and my patients are raving about them. Now, if you're looking for a couple bucks off your first order, enter JK5 and get $5 off now. Head over to Novos Labs, N-O-V-O-S Labs, L-A-B-S dot com and enter JK5 as a little gift for listening into the Health Fix podcast. Now, if we move on to your what you've been hearing, 
from your clients. I would love to hear some stories, couple stories that you can think of like off the top of your head of, of what folks have come back and said, maybe some very interesting things or wild things you're like, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> what have you heard? Uh, good question. Um, well, so I can, I can share like some of the most common, um, yeah. most common benefits, uh, things that people are experiencing from, from the formula. Um, uh, actually w one, one very recent, um, uh, testimonial, I, I was having a phone call with a medical doctor at a medical clinic that is interested in, in carrying our product. Um, we spent hours talking to this person. Uh, he's very skeptical. He is, he has been approached by dozens and dozens of different supplement companies and products and so on. And the vast majority of the time he says, no, no, no. He's skeptical of us, our approach and so on. Um, we showed them the science, we sent him some, some product and we got on the call with him just last week. And he was one of the biggest fans of, of <laughs> Novos's product I've ever seen. He was saying like, this stuff is incredible. Um, I, you know, I, I've gotten tons of NAD injections because we offer it as a service. I also take uh different, you know, NR and NMN products. I take Novos boost. And this is the first one that is really having an effect. Now, I was a little skeptical of that myself because, you know, if he's getting NAD injections and he's seeing these types of, you know, right. he's seeing greater results from, from us, my question was then, are you also taking Novo score? And he said, yes. And I said, that is what I think it is. It's either the combination of the Novo's boost with the Novo score, or there's the Novo score on the own, on its own. But I don't believe it's just the Novo's boost on its own that's doing this. Uh, but he was saying that, he, if he's more energized, he's more focused, he gets more done. Um, uh, he said that if anything, the only problem is that he has so much energy that he's like doing a little bit too much. And he's like, a, you know, a little bit all over the place with all of the things that he's excited to work on. Uh, but you know, we agree that that is a, a good problem to have. So that was really great to see, especially coming from a medical doctor who started out as a skeptic to see that we were able to change his opinion simply by using our product. That was, that was really, um, uh, a nice thing to, to experience, um, other, other customers. I mean, you, you can, um, I mentioned earlier the rejuvenation Olympics and one of our customers, Julie Gibson Clark, she's been interviewed by, um, uh, fortune magazine a few times. If you search, uh, fortune magazine's website for Julie Gibson Clark, You'll see there's a video on her. There's a couple of interviews. She's also uh, been spoken about on the Ben Greenfield podcast because of how impressive her results are. And they're going to have an interview coming up uh, sometime soon. Um, so I'm sure she'll talk more there. Um, she was also on the television channel News Nation, uh, at a live interview of her. And she talks about her lifestyle and so on, but then talks about her taking Novos and um, how that impacted her life and how like her complexion, which was already pretty good, it suddenly got significantly better after taking Novos. So these are firsthand accounts. And um, I can't say that there's absolutely no um, um, involvement with Julie, no financial involvement whatsoever. I mean, we've gifted her a few free boxes of core after she, mm -hmm. you know, was on the television channel because we were so happy with her. We wanted to give her something, uh, but she ended up donating those um, or gifting those to, um, to friends and uh, connections and so on. So she didn't even keep it for herself. So there's really no, um, you know, connections with her. She's a, a genuine real customer of ours. Well, I found that when people really like something, they will tell everyone everyone you know there's there's just no doubt that that's going to happen and and i have a couple of my own patients that are singing your praises as well and and saying like yeah the core the so i think at this point it might be good to tell folks the difference between novos boost and novos core so folks kind of sure. know what what's in them what's the difference that kind of thing sure so novos boost is a we look at it as a booster to novos core it can be taken on its own but it's a very simple formula. It is just one ingredient, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, which is a precursor to NAD, a molecule involved in the Krebs cycle. So it's involved in the production of energy, uh, ATP, for example, the energy currency of our cells. It's involved in uh, the production of sirtuins, which can help to repair DNA. So it's not nearly as powerful as the Novos core formula, but it is a powerful, like as a single ingredient, it's quite powerful. 
And it's something that's also very popular because of uh, Dr. David Sinclair at Harvard, who has done research on it, among other researchers as well, but he's really sung the praises of, of this ingredient. Um, so I, I think that people who are aware of his research might have a somewhat of a bias, thinking that this is probably the best ingredient in longevity space. But I can tell you as someone in the space evaluating every ingredient out there and just looking for what is the best, um, it is it is not um, the best you know ingredient out there. It is a very powerful one. But ingredients that we have in Novo's core, um, either on their own for some of them or combined definitely in the synergistic way that we have combined the ingredients is more powerful. And that's the 12 ingredients. It impacts all 12 hallmarks of aging rather than just a few of them that the NMN um, impacts. And so if if someone were to decide on just one uh, formula, one product, we encourage them to get Novos Core. If they can afford to have both, then Core and Boost is, is a nice addition to it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, that's, I found the same. Like the NAD, you know, was hot for a while. NMN kind of blew up because of Dr. Sinclair's work. And and of course, you know, I'm I'm no different than any of my patients. I'm going to jump on it and say, okay, well, what do I get? You know, because I like to be the N01 to tell people what happens. Right. And and I, I agree with you that there it, it's much like what happens in herbal medicine. We almost need that synergistic effect. There's no like one magic bullet to just plug in and that solves you know, all, all the, all the issues. And of course, you know, also want to be very clear that taking Novos core on its own, but eating McDonald's all day, isn't also going to be magical. There's a synergistic effect. And of course, that's why you have your app coming out um, as well. Now you had mentioned Novos vital and talking about rejuvenating the organs, which I think this day and age is something that we really need to be looking at because I find the digestive system, the liver taking really big beatings, the cardiovascular system. So give us, give us the scoop on the Novos Vital and, and what's in it. What, are, you know, what's your, your, your thought process with it. And also that tasty flavoring you were talking about that I. Sure. Sure. So I think, I think we were talking about this before filming, uh, <laughs> but I don't think the audience is aware of Novos yes. Vital yet. So yeah, Novos that's... Vital is a, is a brand new product that uh, is is just now being released. We haven't even publicly released it yet. So um, our subscribers, we are sharing this with them first, um, our loyal subscribers. So, uh, you know, a few hundred of them have been able to order the product so far, um, and we are slowly releasing it to more and more of our subscribers. We've already sold out twice, and we haven't even officially released it yet. So um, so that's why we're doing this gradual release. But in a few weeks, mm -hmm. we will release it uh, to the general public as we have more stock coming in. Um, this is a um, edible product. So it's in these uh, four sweet chews, um, almost like a gummy, not exactly the same texture, but but similar uh, concept. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, they have like a, a mango tropical flavor to them. Uh, they are... Uh, very low sugar, I believe just one gram of sugar. Um, and they, in terms of sweetener, it, they use a very novel uh, ingredient called trehalose, which is technically a, a form of a sugar, but it doesn't behave like a typical sugar. It has a lot of health benefits to it. Um, it has cognitive um, uh, health benefits. It can help induce uh, autophagy, a process of the body kind of cleaning up these old cells that are, are not performing their function well. Uh, there's just a lot of a lot of benefits to it, and it doesn't um, spike your blood glucose like uh, sucrose does or fructose does. Um, trehalose is found in nature. It's found in bacteria. It's found in mushrooms. It's found in some plants and in some invertebrate animals. So it's totally a, a natural um, ingredient, but it behaves, as I said, very differently than typical sugars. Um, so it has this nice sweet taste. It's uh, the way we look at it as is this is something that you should take with a meal or just after a meal um, because of some of the other ingredients that we'll, we'll talk about, but it's a, a, a healthy alternative to, to, for that sweet urge, right? So rather than reaching for something that, that is not going to be good for you, this is the polar opposite. This is actually a sweet that is actually very good for you. Now, Novos Core, as we, we discussed earlier is a formula that's based on the 12 biological mechanisms of aging, the 
the microscopic biological reasons why our body starts to break down and we get older and then uh, the result ends up being higher incidences of, of disease and ultimately death. Um, with this formula, uh, we took a macro approach. So in this case, we are looking at the organs that start to decline with age. And so specifically the organs that we, we focus are on are cognition, so the brain, uh, the eyes, vision, uh, the cardiovascular system that includes the heart and the blood vessels, uh, the uh, gut, and then the kidneys and the liver. So all of those organs uh, are going to be addressed with this single formula. And if you think of most of the formulas out there, it's typically only focused on one, maybe two organs, right? It's like, here's your gut supplement. Here's your liver supplement, maybe liver kidneys, but you're not going to get heart combined in, in that supplement, right? So we're all about making all of this as simple and achievable for people as possible. And rather than saying, here are the five different pills you need to buy or the seven different pills you need to buy, yeah. like why not just make it into a daily ritual, something you enjoy doing, you look forward to doing, uh, and then combine those ingredients into one formula to have a synergistic property to it. It's, it's incredibly smart because, you know, let's face it, who doesn't, you know, I don't think many people love taking handfuls of supplements every day. Um, and it's expensive. And if you can get it all in one, why not? Um, and then if it's a gummy now, you know, now you've got people going, is it tomorrow yet? Can I take more? Can I have some more? I mean, I, I was thinking of that and going like, I have patients who literally are like, I just took another gummy for my immune system. Cause I figured, well, I could use it and I needed a sweet treat. And you're like, <laughs> we're, all, we're all kids inside. We're all kids inside. Right. So, so tell us what, what are you, what do you got in there that is helping for the different organs? Cause it, it is fascinating to me, you know, that uh, about what, what's being used and, and where you guys went in which direction. Sure. And, and one thing to, just, just to emphasize about the approach that Novos takes is that we put generous portions of the ingredients into our formula. So we look at the efficacious dose uh, and then we we strike typically right in the center of that efficacious dose. Um, so a lot of products out there, whether pills, they put you know lower doses that they can fit in the pill or gummies, they make them very sweet and tasty, but they don't put enough of an effective dose in it or you need to take like tons of gummies beyond the serving size that's recommended. For us, it's four gummies a day and that's going to get you right in the sweet spot for each of these ingredients. So the first is trehalose that I mentioned. The second one is apple cider vinegar, uh, specifically for the acetic acid in it. So the acetic acid, believe it or not, that's part of, that's involved in the um, methylation process. So uh, turning different genes on and off. And so providing the acetic acid could potentially help on the, on the methylation side, but then also there are a number of different benefits associated with apple cider vinegar. Um, including like reducing oxidative stress. It shows uh, potential neuroprotective properties and so on. Uh, for uh, for the, the, the heart and blood vessels, we've included natto kinase. So natto kinase nice. uh, coming from the fermented uh, soybean uh, Japanese food called natto. Natto kinase is one of the uh, only ingredients out there that has been able to show that it, it can have favorable effects on blood vessels. It's like an enzyme that is able to kind of help to uh, keep, keep those clear um, and can overall just benefit um, the heart health, but then also have uh, favorable effects on brain health as well. Um, we've, we, we've also got uh, lutein um, and zeaxanthin. Both of those are found, yep, for your <laughs> eyes and cognition as well. They can enhance memory function. Uh, one of the things I personally found quite interesting about uh, lutein and, and, and zeaxanthin is uh, that they can actually help with nighttime vision as well. Um, and so, the, you know, these are pigments that are found in our retinas. And as we age, uh, the amount of them decline. And uh, what's really interesting is that by supplementing, it's been found that you can resaturate the retinas with these pigments. And these pigments they're, they're protective. They can help to protect against, you know, ultraviolet light and blue light, uh, but then also ultimately help you to be able to see better. So uh, there's a study that looked at uh, the ability to um, see at night um, after supplementing with, with these ingredients. I believe it was specifically lutein though, I'd, I'd have to check. 
And they showed uh, better performance in nighttime vision, uh, which was quite interesting, along with a number of other benefits um, that have, have come with it just for overall vision um, and macular degeneration and so on. Um, uh, so those those are some of the uh, some of the ingredients that that we have um, trying to recall. Uh, oh, we also have uh, rudin. Mm -hmm. So rudin um, is an ingredient that actually has um, a benefit for mu muscles um, to help strengthen muscles. It helps muscles to recover uh, more rapidly. And then finally, there's inulin. So inulin is something that's quite good uh, as a prebiotic to help um, your microbiome. So it's it's something that will encourage the healthy bacteria in your gut to grow Um and, uh, you know, most of us are not getting adequate amounts of fiber and prebiotics in our diets. So this is a good way for people to be able to, um, increase that. Oh man, such good stuff. And all things that yes, people do take individually, especially, you know, the apple cider vinegar is really popular. Um, and, and even just the antioxidants, lutein, zeaxanthin, those kind of things. So that's really cool that it's all in one. And I think one of my questions would be, are you guys using nanotechnology to get it into the gummy-like consistency that you're using? What What's the technology used to get all these guys in there? Uh, it took it took more than a year uh, yeah. of R&D to be able to get everything in and to get it to taste right and everything. Uh, we're not using nanotechnology just in general. Um, we've been cautious about nanotechnology. Our head of R and D, um, part of his uh, academic pursuits, he he um, he studied nanotech, um, and he has some concerns just about where those nanoparticles end up um, accumulating. So he's found that, for example, the nanoparticles oftentimes end up finding their way into the liver. And then they get lodged in the liver and then it's very difficult, um, if even possible to get them out of the liver because of how small they are. So, um, you know, when it comes to actual nano sized particles, that's something that we're not at least at this time comfortable with, with putting in, into our formula. Great, great thought process there. You know, something that we don't tend to think about, you know, we think about delivery of nano, but we don't think about like, where is it getting lodged? Is it getting stuck in places we don't want it to? Um, fascinating stuff. Something that I think a lot of folks do want to think about a little bit, because I think we've definitely entered a phase of everything's nano. Um, you know, that's one of the hot terms. So in terms of, of tech, then can you give us a little scoop without without sharing all of the proprietary process how how are you doing it what what kind of technology are you guys using instead uh it, it's 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 not as much um, a novel technology as it is more if you think of like a chef trying to perfect a recipe hmm. the um you know the uh the order in, in which you mix the ingredients the temperatures the curing process the amount of time that you let it cure for um the ratios of the ingredients um um, trying to do, uh, create the product with, um, uh, minimal, uh, you know, added ingredients. So our, our formula is, is pretty much just these actives. There's a little bit of wax, um, on, on the exterior of the gummy just to prevent them from all sticking together, for example, but like, you know, organic wax that, you know, you would, you would get from eating like honey or something. Right. So like, um, so like, all natural ingredients and trying to minimize any additional ingredients. There's no coloring in the formula or anything like that. So, um, you know, when, when you, when you set those standards and expectations, it becomes that much more difficult to be able to get the texture you're looking for and the flavor, as opposed to these big CPG companies that are adding artificial ingredients in with all of these different properties that they can then make something taste and, and feel exactly as they want it to. But, not really considering the health implications of those ingredients. I mean, it, it's very important to to highlight that. And folks, I'm glad that that Chris mentioned that because it the more natural products don't look as pretty, as shiny, you know, but, you know, trying to figure out flavoring, I, I understand that, you know, there, there's a lot that goes into it. And and yeah, I could imagine it would be a year to try to get everything just right with, and probably some food science, science involved in, in getting the right technology. It, it's, it's fascinating to me, you know, the, the gummy and the like kind of 
different things that go into the liquids and and powder, you know, all the different products. It's it's more than just like some some powder in a capsule or some powder in a little sachet. And I, I want to highlight that to folks that really companies that care, there's a lot that goes in and a year is probably kind of frustrating <laughs> to go through. Yeah. Well, what, you know, be, what, what I can also say is that we we had the plan for this even before that or, or uh, for a similar product even before that. And we spent about a year and a half on R&D um, trying to create a, a different type of edible product where the star ingredients was spermidine, uh -huh. uh, which is something that is, is well known. Um, we ultimately decided not to include it because our scientific analysis of all of the research is that there is no evidence that spermidine is actually absorbable um, in the human gut and that it makes its way into the bloodstream. In fact, there was a study that came out in early 2023 that found um, that, that administered spermidine at uh, high, relatively high doses of spermidine to humans and then looked at their blood levels and plasma levels of spermidine. And there was no difference from those who took the spermidine and those who didn't. Um, and some people say like, maybe it was taken up by a cell immediately, but like it doesn't, the pharmacokinetics, it doesn't really make sense for it to, you know, not appear at all in the bloodstream. So we're very skeptical. Now there's animal research. And if you inject it, a lot of really exciting properties to it, but um, in terms of edible and, and like the forms that are being sold over the counter now, uh, we're very skeptical of it. So we spent a lot of money and time looking to bring this product to market, but because we are, we want to be intellectually honest about this. And as I said, take only produce things that we want to take ourselves. Uh, we ended up scrapping that and all of the investment in it, and then started from scratch with this new formula that we have now launched. Man. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot that goes into getting getting a formula just right. And I'm glad you're sharing it because I've never had anyone share it at, to this level on the podcast. And, and I, you know, while I know it, I don't think I've ever really um, shared with folks how much goes into like, does this work? Are we getting back out, you know, what we're putting in? And, and it's so important for folks to understand that if a company's putting the effort into this, this is a solid company compared to folks that, you know, I hear from other formulators that I know in the industry who are like, yeah, I got a company calling me and they just want to do something for a penny on a dollar. And it's like, oh. <laughs> I, I will say that most, most of the companies, unfortunately, most of the companies in our space, and there are exceptions, but um, most are just looking to market a product very well. So let's find some ingredients that are trending that everyone is asking about. They're indicating they want to buy. They're trending on Amazon. So we know these are hot ingredients. Let's combine them. Let's package it well and let's sell it and then make these big marketing claims about the product. They're not actually doing their own research. Um, they're not innovating. They're not creating new knowledge. Um, and they're not creating anything that that has any scientific proof behind it actually working. And so, um, you know, that's that's where I think we differ as a company is that we're intellectually honest about the products that we put out there, and uh, we're not we're not profit first. We're kind of I think you would say profit second. We are effective products first, doing what we say uh, we're we're going to do, uh, and then we believe that you know profit can follow that by just being doing the right thing for people. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I wholeheartedly agree and definitely appreciate your guys' efforts in that department because it is important to us folks who are recommending it, you know, to our patients, but also just for society as a whole. Now, you had mentioned that you guys are going to be showing up in some Irwan stores. And of course, my first thing was like, oh, Kim Kardashian was was talking about them and, you know, whatnot. And, and I don't want anyone... <laughs> To associate you guys with that, but <laughs> that's totally different. Um, but on the on the really cool side of things is that Erwan is very specific from what I understand of what they bring in. So I'm gonna let you kind of give us give us a scoop about you guys being in the Erwan stores and you know what what a honor it is to be in those stores. Yeah, so I, I'm going to admit that I wasn't aware of Erwan. I live on the East Coast and uh, haven't been to LA for a while, but apparently Erwan is the hottest thing in the health world on the West Coast, specifically the LA market. They've got uh, soon to be 11 stores. They're essentially a high-end supermarket, but they're more than just a supermarket. They are uh, 
the biggest celebrities and influencers in Los Angeles are the biggest fans of Air One. I mean, even designer brands like Balenciaga made a Air One leather um, you know, supermarket bag um, and did a runway show with them, right? Like they're just a completely different type of organism, animal than a typical supermarket. And they're all about health. So organic ingredients, the highest quality ingredients when it comes to supplements, they um, only bring on the top end brands and they are known for bringing on like the innovators or like the next big thing, so to speak. They're also known for their, uh, their smoothies. So they do these celebrity collaborations on smoothies. So like every month, a new one comes out. I think uh, this month is Giselle created a smoothie with them with specific healthy ingredients. And then it ends up trending across, across, uh, you know, the social networks and, and so on. Uh, and so, uh, they're, they're an interesting company. And so they approached us and at first I was, you know, so somewhat confused why the marketing team was so excited about it. And then when they explained it to me and I read some articles, I was like, oh, okay, this makes sense to me now. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so they invited us to, uh, be on their shelves as well as in what's called the collective, which is a membership program that they offer, uh, where their members, um, get access to to special incentives and so on and other brands are like aloe yoga and um and seed the probiotic brand uh, and so on and so uh we just sent the shipment out uh yesterday so this is you know brand new for us um but i'll be in la um in about just over a month um and checking out the air one stores and uh, seeing it firsthand so uh, this is we, we've been approached by many other distributors before and, and we've uh, turned them away because uh, we're, you know, we're, we, we really like having that close connection with our customers and we're not about getting big fast. And again, it's not about profit. It's about, you know, rolling out the company the right way and, and so on. Uh, but for a company like Air One, it seemed like it was a, a good collaboration, a good partnership. Uh, so they are our only um, distributor uh, other than medical doctors who, who are also, um, selling our products. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, <laughs> celebrities aside, I think I saw the charcoal smoothie or something with, with Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I think that's how I, I came to it, but you know, I've been to the one in Culver city and, and you know what, it's, it's a cool, it's a cool store. Um, and, and for a naturopath like me, who's super geeky, right. I, I like to be able to know that everything that I am looking for in terms of quality products that, you know, are are solidly represented that's in one store now granted do i need a you know kind of the concept of whole paycheck you need two whole paychecks for <laughs> for this store but it's a big deal it's a big deal and and i'm excited for you guys and i'm like hmm could we get the novos core sachets in a smoothie and have you as the or one of the one of the gals on the rejuvenation olympics board uh be the the promo there I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm. I, I'm big enough for the rejuvenation Olympic. I mean, <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be like, "Oh, Chris is taking this. That's he's a trendy guy. Let me get it too." <laughs> I don't think I'll have any impact uh, whatsoever. But uh, uh, but yeah, if we could get if we could get some influencer or celebrity putting their name behind it, I can be in the background, like you know, <laughs> jumping in their photograph or something. <laughs> hey, you know, that's how I kind of look at it that way too. Like, I can photobomb any picture, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would photobomb them. I think that would be my involvement. That's as far as I'd, I'd get. Oh, uh, you discredit yourself. I mean, honestly, you guys have some good stuff and and really, you know, my patients are are definitely impressed and I'm excited about the Novos Vital. I, I can't wait for that to come out and and get a try of it myself and, and get that out to everybody. And man, just looking forward to some of the the new stuff you guys are going to roll out here. The app, exciting too. When when is the app kind of tentatively? You know, you said beta, but it's it's beta, but it's available to download okay. now. So we're not promoting okay. it. We're not telling people about it. But if you happen to hear me talk about it and you're so curious, you can download it and, and use it. But in terms of us actually pushing it out, we're like late March, um, okay. approximately. And for that, we're we're going to unveil a, a really cool feature for it. So I can't talk about it now, but there's something cool with it, which will you know, justify us holding off. You'll understand why when we release that feature. Sure. Is it is the app called no like Novos Labs, Novos? What's Novos what's Life? Novos, Novos Life. Novos Life. 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. Now, of course, let's tell folks everywhere else they can find you and Instagram, other places, because you guys have a lot of great research on, on your website as a whole. Give us the scoop so folks know all the things, and I'll make sure I put it in our show notes at drjkrausnd.com. Sure. So it's novoslabs.com is our website. And then we're Novos Labs on all of the social networks, except TikTok. TikTok, we're Novos Labs underscore. <laughs> Don't ask. Long story behind that one. And, <laughs> and, um, and then I personally have a blog of my own that's Slow My Age, where I share my thoughts on longevity, on, on why it's relevant, um, uh, try to clarify some points about it, and also my own personal results from a whole range of tests that I've done for my biological age. And then I'm slow my age on uh, Instagram, uh, X, and on TikTok. TikTok's brand new. So I only have three followers as of today. It's, it's <laughs> been less than a week. So don't <laughs> think too much about that. <laughs> High five on trying it. I, I just said Thank no. You hard pass on me, but I'm, I'm glad you're trying it. Well, we'll make sure we get this out and, and we'll do some more chats if you're up for it. Cause I just love geeking out with you and there's so much more to what's you guys got on the, the docket. So I'm, I'm looking forward to new stuff. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Nice chatting with you. Hey, health junkies, if you're wanting to turn back the clock on your biological age, maybe boost your energy and just counter the signs of aging, I highly recommend Novos Labs products. I'm using them and my patients are raving about them. Now, if you're looking for a couple bucks off your first order, enter JK5 and get $5 off now. Head over to Novos Labs, N-O-V-O-S, Labs, L-A-B-S, dot com and enter JK5 as a little gift for listening in to the Health Fix podcast. Hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.